This is a pure sine wave inverter from EAFC. A 4000 watt peak, 2000 watt continuous pure sine wave inverter. It comes with the inverter and these 8 gauge wires. And for this size inverter, I would put these cables aside and go for bigger cables. Let's take a look. Two cooling fans. This is the terminals. I'm really not a big fan of this screw on terminals. But it's a cheap Chinese inverter. It is what it is. To tighten your connections enough, but not over tighten because this will break. This is the receptacle for the AC out, a universal receptacle, on off, DC voltage and AC out voltage. This is the 50 hertz to 20 volts version. Looks like it's got a communication port of some kind. There is no information on it, so I have really no idea. Let's connect it to a battery. We're using the Humsiank 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery for this purpose. And I will be using some bigger cables for this short review. When connecting the inverter to your battery, the last connection to avoid a spark, use a we say resistor to pre-charge the capacitors inside the inverter. Like that. There's no spark. All right, so it's connected to the battery. Positive side going to the positive terminal and the negative side from the terminal to the battery. Let's turn it on and use a clamp meter to test the idle consumption. 13.4 volts, let's say zero, 0 0.65, which gives us about 8.7 watts in idle consumption. It's fluctuating a bit, so it would be yeah, between 7 and 10 watts of idle draw. Managed to get a stop reading from the sine wave output and well I've seen better actually seen a lot better it's slightly better than modified sine wave I guess probably wouldn't be using it for my most sensitive electronics anyway it's cheap and it works so Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Calling it a true pure sine wave would be a slight stretch, in my opinion. So if you're looking for a 12 volt pure sine wave inverter, this might not be the one for you, depending on your needs, of course. Anyway, hope you found this useful. Check out these two videos next, because YouTube wants you to. See you in the next one.